Hi guys, I just wanted to come on real quick with a um, short video on a project that I've been working on in my craft room for the past couple of weeks. Well, it hadn't taken that long, but for the past week or so, I've been working on this. Um, I know you're all familiar with this piece that I have right here in my craft room. I filmed it before um, on my YouTube channel and before I had on it a lot of items that I could use to um, alter projects with and I also had some pieces displayed that folks had sent me some of the wonderful ladies here on YouTube that I craft with and um, I enjoyed looking at those items over the years and now I wanted to just kind of change things up again and freshen things up you know sometimes you just want to to see something different and I have my tea cup and teapot collection that has grown over the years and these are a few of the items that I brought upstairs from the kitchen and I'm displaying them because I don't have a way of displaying them downstairs so I thought about it and I was like hey I could put them on there and just change things up a little bit so I figured I'd come on and show you guys how I did that um, in case anybody is interested in tea cup or china display um so i'll start up top here i've got a vintage little clock back there in the back that was already on here it was just in a different area and i'm gonna try and get in close without it blurring and like that piece right there is vintage i've got my milk glass pieces that teapot there belonged to my mother-in-law before she passed away i've got my royal dalton um teacups in the back back there that I've been collecting and I still have a few little embellishments um in the in the cabinet like in that apothecary jar I've got some beautiful vintage buttons and that's a Rachel Ashwell shabby chic frame I've still yet to put a photograph in I need to pop a picture in there I've got another teacup right there and I still have some of my beautiful flowers I like to use on projects in the back back there still displaying my doilies right here is a cute little lamb that I found at the thrift store and there's a little teapot right there that I found at an antique or vintage store and some cake stands that I've collected here's a sugar and creamer that I've collected and I've got the teapot and teacups to match and here's a cute little pie plate that I picked up at home goods this year and some more pink milk glass back there. A couple more pieces. I love that vintage frame. There's some beautiful teacups and I love that little that little pie plate stand right there. I like that for hors d'oeuvres whenever you have the ladies over for some tea, which I actually do. I love inviting my girlfriends over and we just have a little brunch or lunch and I put little pastries on the tray. And then right here, I've got some milk glass pieces. This is one of the first teacups that I collected. And just a few brooches that I just love looking at. That's beautiful. I love that little candlestick right there. And then this piece right here, the frame was really dark. So I just took um, some white paint and I just, acrylic paint, and I just brushed over it. And it just softened the little painting. And there's another Royal Dalton piece right, right there. And I love this cross. It's so pretty. And it has a little Precious Moments girl on there. And it's on a vintage doily. And these are some of the little crystals that go to my chandelier that's hanging up above. And a vintage brooch. And there's a cute little mirror I have. That milk glass piece belonged to my mother-in-law before she passed also. And then down here at the bottom, try and get down here myself. And there's a couple more milk glass pieces and a Demetis cup, another cup that I've collected. That card back there came from a young lady I used to work with. And the little hors d'oeuvre forks and a creamer, another teacup. That piece right there daughters are special that came off the front of a card my mom gave me when I was a little girl and then some more milk glass and some silver pieces in a teacup and more doilies and then down here at the bottom that's teddy bear my hubby gave me and then some silver pieces more teacups more milk glass 
That's my daughter's tea set that her great-grandmother gave her when she was a little girl. And I saved it because she would have lost it. <laughs> and those are my son's booties back there when he was a little boy. And these are some creamers and sugar bowls that I've collected. Milk glass piece, some embellishments for cards. Another teapot. And that little flower market sign that I picked up at Dollar Tree one year. But that's pretty much it. I love this piece. I always have ever since I found it. And I just love how it turned out. It's really pretty. And I think it fits with where I am right now. So I know you're seeing a lot of tea things in my videos um, that I'm putting out here recently. But that's just where I am right now. This is what I'm into. I don't create as many cards right now. I mean, if I do, they're simple cards. Um, I'm not doing a lot of altered projects. So I, I didn't pack those items away. But what I'm doing is I'm putting them in some clear bins and they're in a closet. So that whenever I need them, I can just pull them out to make that one project and then put them back. But right now, because this is where I am, this is what I like looking at every day when I come up here to craft. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll be back with another one soon. Thanks and have a blessed day. Bye.